What up, y'all? It's your boy, One Sir Grove. This is the 114th episode of C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide. Hope that you're having a blessed day, night, evening, midday, wherever you are in the world, man. Because I don't fucking know, you know, what time it is where you be at. Let's get into it, man. Let's let's talk about this Takashi 69 situation, man, and all these fucking false claimers. You know, it's interesting how these dudes that Takashi 69 was associated with um, on some level, you know, hanging out with what whatever the actual affiliation is there. Um, people, man, you know, from my childhood where I grew up, uh, it's pretty obvious, man. You know, when when you when you see the hand signs. And you hear it, you know, in the ling- in in the in the voice, and you know, it's pretty much repped, and uh, in in terms of being represented, I mean, it's like, come on, man, like we know what's up. So, in terms of Takashi's uh, present past associations, these dudes, man, that he was uh, that he had been running with, it really seems like. You know, of, of I'm not I'm not saying all of them, but some of them, man, were trying to obviously, man. At, at least it's obvious to me. It appears quite clear that they were just trying to fucking take advantage of him. In that he was making the dough, they were as well. You know, because they were profiting from his success. And I understand, man. They had agreements and whatnot. Who was to do what and what role everyone played. But here's what I don't like about these dudes, man. And I'm not talking about Takashi Six Nine. I like Takashi Six Nine. I've, I'm a fan of Takashi Six Nine. What I don't like about the dudes, man, in his in his set, is that they don't fucking know, you know, that that this guy supposedly, according to them, allegedly, according to their fucking beliefs, right? And 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 some people in the audience, because it's not everyone. But man, you can't just go claiming that someone's a fucking snitch, man, unless you've got some fucking paperwork and some hard evidence, man. You can't just be like, oh yeah, dude's locked up, so that means he's talking to the fucking feds. Man, you're so stupid, man, seriously. Like, the way shit works, man, is 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 not the way that, that you think it works, man. Those of you who just automatically assume that because dude got locked up and he got hit with the RICO Act, that... Uh, he's talking to the feds, man. Like, for real? Like, you're a gangster and you just assume some shit like that, man? You gonna put a fucking fake snitch jacket on someone, man? What kind of gangster is you, dog? Like, for real? Like, you you claim to be a hardcore gangster and nigga, you just gonna be like, oh yeah, this dude automatically, I know for a fact. You don't know shit for a fact, man. First of all, you ain't, you ain't there. You ain't there where he, where he is. And, and, and you have no fucking intel on the shit, period. So your intel is faulty automatically because you're assuming that just because dude got locked up and just because you think he's fucking weak and you think he's going to bend and fold, that he's talking to the feds, man, and, and singing and, and, and telling like, man, and you, and you claim to be a hardcore gangster, like for real, man. And that's, that's how your that's your process, man. That's your, that's your thinking process is that just because the nigga got locked up automatically, he's a snitch, man. You're fucking stupid, man. For real. Like, man, for real. And you're a gangster like, man, wow, that's interesting, man. So it, so anybody who gets locked up and, and you think they're weak, that means that person's a snitch. Wow, man. You seriously need to go fucking back to school and do some mathematics, man. And, uh, learn, you know, some, some, some fundamental logic because, the world doesn't work the way that you haters who hate Takashi think that it works in that you believe that just because you think he's weak and just because you think he's talking to the feds and telling them shit about his crew or the people who used to be his crew. Hey, man, yo, world doesn't work that way, man. You have no fucking definitive, concrete proof, evidence, empirical data to support your fucking assumptions your false beliefs because you fucking don't have access to that intel, man. So, man, it's interesting, dude, because a lot of you niggas that claim to be hardcore motherfucking gangsters and shit, yeah, man, you get set up by the feds on some fake fucking RICO act because they indict your whole entire gang. Your whole entire gang gets, gets indicted, and that includes you too. 
And then what you want, you want for, for the public to just automatically assume that you're guilty, huh? Because somebody views you as being weak. Oh, that gang, they got indicted. Yeah, they all did it. I know, I know in my heart, they are all involved and they're all corrupt and they're all guilty of the RICO act because they indicted their whole gang. Man, you might just be somebody out on your block in a neighborhood where you grew up and you might just be repping the set, man, but you ain't doing any crime. And then your gang gets indicted. And then all of a sudden, man, you set up on the RICO act and shit. You want for the public to just automatically assume that you're fucking guilty because you got hit with RICO and you locked up, huh? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want it that way, right? But when it comes to Takashi 69 because you're jealous, envious, fucking spiteful haters who want to hate on a kid that, that has had far more success than most of y'all fucking auto-tune ass, uh, whack-ass rappers will ever have in your lifetimes. You want to fucking put a snitch jacket on this dude when you have no proof of any of the shit that you're talking about, man. Yeah. Wow. Interesting, man. Interesting, the hypocrisy of it all. And, uh, man, I was going through the threads last night on YouTube, and I was checking out the videos from niggas talking about Takashi 6 9 is fucking snitching, and he's talking, you know, really, man, that's that, hey, man, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, man. Yeah, for real. Because, man, you have, you motherfuckers have no fucking proof at this juncture of any of your allegations and shit. But, of course, you guys, you niggas is fucking gangsters and shit out on the streets, you know, doing shit that could land you in the same position, man, under some Rico, on some Rico shit. You know, after 9-11, man, uh, U.S. Gov, they have, uh, they have powers, man, that they didn't have before. They had the Patriot Act, and it doesn't always apply to foreign and international terrorists, man. They can apply that shit. Our government can apply that to gangs and shit now. To fucking, to, to, to mobs and shit. To, to corrupt organizations. And they could just be like, yo, you're a, you're a domestic fucking terrorist. Yeah, your gang, your so-called gang. Nah, we don't see it as a gang. We see it as a domestic terrorist organization. Y'all going out through your neighborhood and terrorizing everyone and selling all these drugs and all this racketeering and all this shit. Boom, hit you with some motherfucking Patriot Act shit. And you like, man, I ain't a terrorist. And the gov's like, yeah, you are actually a fucking terrorist. And here you are, man, on fucking YouTube, right? Gangsters and shit. Fuck gangsters talking about, oh yeah, yeah, it's it's a certainty. Yeah, 100%. Like, like Takashi 6 9 man, he's snitching. Wow. Wow. It's real interesting, man. It's real interesting, the hypocrisy of man, the hypocrisy of human beings, man. Th- those of you who are fucking outright hypocrites, man. Yeah. Well, hey, man, that's, you know, that's your issue and, and the way that apparently you want to be treated yourself. So... You know, keep broadcasting whatever, whatever narrative you want to broadcast. And just remember, man, you know, in the event that dude gets off scot-free because, you know, his attorney's like, hey, man, this dude is fucking, uh, he's, uh, hey, man, this dude is innocent of all these fucking fake ass, uh, federal, uh, made up fucking constructed, you know, uh, the fucking Rico shit. Yeah. Oh, oh man. It sounds like, yeah, it sounds crazy. You know, the indictment and all this shit. But as it turns out, man, it's just some fucking fake made up shit. They just, man, some motherfuckers were jealous and envious and they're like, oh, look, Takachi got too much money. Yeah. His gang, uh, they're, uh, they're a corrupt organization and they're involved in racketeering. And, uh, though he might not be, we're still going to hit him with the Rico act anyway. Yeah. You want, you want to live in a society where the government can hit you with some fucking shit like that, man, you know, and then the public turns around and just automatically assumes that you're fucking guilty, man, this shit hasn't even gone to fucking court yet, fucking man, man, listen, you guys want to live in some Nazi Germany, America, man in the high castle shit, keep talking about motherfuckers is guilty before, hey, keep, keep telling people, man, Keep telling people that niggas is guilty before you ever even have any fucking evidence, man. Yeah. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. For real. Motherfuckers.